what is going on guys welcome to your third physics tutorial and in this lesson I want to start off by talking about some basic acceleration problems and then I'm gonna talk about something called the acceleration of gravity an amazing phenomenon but let's go ahead and take a look at this acceleration formula one more time so we already know that in order to calculate acceleration we need to figure out the change in velocity over the change in time but just like velocity and speed we can use the same formula to calculate acceleration or change in velocity or the change in time so let's go ahead and take a look at a sample problem say that we started out at I'll write all this info down started at zero this is supposed to be at sign a quite beautiful at sign if you ask me at zero meters per second that was our starting speed basically we started not moving at all simple enough and then we decided to accelerate so acceleration at a rate of eight meters per second squared so this is our acceleration right here that's how fast we're accelerating so we want to figure out how fast would we be going after five seconds so for a time we have five seconds well using this formula what do we want to figure out we want to figure out the change in velocity after five seconds what is our velocity so let's go ahead and plug in this baby so acceleration we know equals eight and I'm gonna leave out the meters per second squared in seconds for now eight meters per second squared now the change in velocity is the thing we're trying to figure out but what we do have is the time so time equals five and I guess I might as well throw this in seconds so in order to get the change of velocity what we need to do is we need to times the acceleration or multiply whenever I say times two things together I mean multiply I know it, <laughs> I know it sounds kinda dumb to say I want to times eight and five but hey you know just guys gotta deal with it I guess so let's go ahead and multiply eight times five in order to figure out the change in velocity so basically the change in velocity is equal to 40 what I say miles per hour or no meters per second so after five seconds accelerating at this rate at a starting point of not moving at all after five seconds we would be going 40 meters per second and you could also write it like this meters per second or meters dash second either way it's up to you take your pick so I just wanted to show you guys that that not only can we use this formula for acceleration but also change in velocity and change in time as well so now I think we got basic acceleration taken care of now I want to talk to you guys about something called the acceleration of gravity the phenomena of gravity actually gravity is a still pretty big mystery to physicists and chemists and a bunch of scientists but we have the figures that we can crunch so we know this whenever you have an object that falls from the sky these are clouds right here and this is an object what is it I don't know take your pick and it's falling from the sky we know that it, its acceleration is 9.8 meters per second squared now I just didn't come up with this figure right here a bunch of nerdy people figured this out that the acceleration due to the force of gravity anywhere on earth is 9.8 meters per second squared seriously they figure that out not me so basically if we were standing on top of a building guys you better prepare for like the worst drawing ever say we were standing on top of a building we draw a little dude that's me up there hey look at me and we decided to drop a can of tuna off the building well let's go ahead and figure out the speed of that tuna after one two three four five six seven eight nine a bunch of seconds so time and we'll say that the time is seconds and the speed we'll just say this is in meters per second now remember the information I gave you guys already the acceleration due to gravity anywhere on earth is 9.8 meters per second squared so that means after one second this can of tuna would be going 9.8 meters per second. After two seconds, the speed of this can of tuna 
would be going 19.6 meters per second. That's a pretty fast can of tuna. Now after three f seconds, how fast would this can of tuna be going? It would be going 29.4 meters per second. And after four seconds, it would be going 39.2. And you can go on and on and on, but I don't want to waste your time. Basically what you do is you add 9.8 to this each time. Now, let me go ahead and show you guys this graphically because it isn't exactly what you guys might expect because it's a little bit different. So at zero seconds, let's just say at zero seconds, let's just say it's right here. You are holding the can of tuna. You just dropped it immediately. Now after one second, we'll say one second, the can of tuna is right here. Now at this point in time it's traveling at a speed of 9.8 meters per second now after two seconds the can of tuna is down here now notice that this gap right here is a little bigger than this gap right here and that is because it picked up speed along the way so now it's traveling at a speed of 19.6 meters per second squared now after three seconds the can of tuna would be somewhere like way down here so even though the speed looking at the graph looks kind of constant and uh... yeah looks kind of constant it, it it kind of isn't and it's kind of deceiving so i think my can of tuna is changing in, si in size a little bit but that's alright so after three seconds this can of tuna would be traveling at a rate of twenty nine point four meters per second so I just want to take kind of show you guys a visual of what would be going on here even though the acceleration is kind of constantly moving up the distance from the person is not the same from one second to two seconds than three than three seconds it's moving further and further away and that's because like I said the speed of the tuna is increasing it starts out going really slow and then by the end of four and five seconds it's traveling at a really fast rate so it travels away from you faster so just keep that in mind and that's a difference between a constant speed and constant acceleration constant accelerate acceleration means that things are speeding up traveling away from you faster and faster so I just want you guys to soak that in for a little bit. Go home and, uh, well, you guys are probably home. Go get something to eat and uh, soak in this information. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a drawing class. So in the next lesson, hopefully I draw a little bit better. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.